In the past, ships like the Titanic would directly put their sewage straight into the ocean. It wasn't considered a big issue back then and there were nowhere near as many ships as there are today. Today though, there's over 300 mainstream cruise ships, each one with thousands of people on board, eating, drinking and going to the toilet. Cruise ship toilets work on a suction basis instead of a flush basis to try and cut down on the amount of water, but still every guest uses gallons and gallons per day. The first thing that happens is that everything goes through a big filter, any lumps, anything that can't be sterilized will be taken to one side and that will be offloaded when the ship gets to land. From here everything moves on to what's called an aeration chamber and they use bacteria to basically decompose the waste. It speeds up that decomposition process. At this point they sterilize the waste with UV light. They don't use chemicals because this is all going to end up in the ocean. Apparently by this point the waste is almost drinkable. I wouldn't want to try it but they release it into the ocean 12 miles from land. 